Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be discussing another functional equation, but this time, instead of dealing with only one function f, we'll be dealing with two functions, f and g. So do you think that handling two functions is much more difficult than handling one function? Try the problem yourself and then let's get started. So in this problem, we are asked to find all functions f and g from r to r such that we have the following functional equation f of g of x plus y is equal to g of f of y plus x. So we're given one functional equation and we have that g is subjective. So actually we have one additional condition which is the subjectivity of g. Actually, this problem has appeared in lots of Olympiads, but each time this condition is changed. So, for example, G is bijective. Sometimes we have uh, from Z to Z, the set of integers to the set of integers. But we're going to be solving this version where we have G is surjective and F of G are from R to R. Okay, so let's take a look at our functional equation. First of all, we have G is surjective. And here we have f of something equals g of something. And we have g is subjective. So actually, can we prove that f is subjective as well? Take a look. We have f of something equals g of something. And g is subjective. So actually, if we can make this something right here, if we can make this a variable that covers all real numbers, then g will be covering all real numbers which means that f can be equal to any real number, which means that f is subjective. So let's take a look at this thing here. We have f of y plus x. Actually, it is very simple to make this subjective because by simply substituting x with x minus f of y, this will be g of x and g of x is subjective, which means that f is subjective as well. So we can simply say that by substituting p we're going to be substituting x with x minus f of y and y. We will have f of something right here, anything, equals g of x. But since g is subjective, then f is subjective as well. So simply we have f is surjective. Okay, so actually we have a nice symmetry here because you can see that the functional equation is symmetrical and we now have the condition is also symmetrical because g is surjective and f is surjective. Okay, so whatever we do on f we can do also on g. Okay, so now let's use the surjectivity of one of the two functions, for example, f, and use some tricks that we've learned earlier. Uh, the most common trick we've used until now was to pick the magical value alpha such that f of alpha equals zero, right? So can we use this? Where, where can we use this alpha? Simply here, right? If we substitute y with this alpha, this will be zero. So this will be g of x. So we're going to have this the following functional equation. g of x equals f of g of x plus alpha. So actually, let's write this down and see. So first of all, uh, from the surjectivity, we have this alpha such that f of alpha equals 0. Now, by substituting p x and alpha, y, we're going to be substituting y with alpha, we will get the left hand side is f of g of x plus alpha, and that is equal to, we said that f of alpha equals zero, and here we have g of x. Okay, so now we have this nice 
simpler functional equation. f of g of x plus alpha equals g of x. So take a look at this functional equation. What can you see? We can see there is only one variable x, but actually this x is inside g. So here we have g of x and here we have g of x. And the more beautiful thing is that g is surjective. So actually, what is g of x? It's just like any real number, z. So we can simply say that instead of writing g of x, we can write any real number, z. And we are going to have the simpler functional equation, f of z plus alpha equals z, right? So actually, we're nearly done. Because by simply saying that, z equals g of x and this can be any real number because g is subjective we're simply going to have f of z plus alpha remember alpha is constant however z is any real number we have the following functional equation and actually we're done why by simply substituting z with z minus alpha we have f of z equals z minus alpha. And basically, we have proven that uh, f is linear, and furthermore, f of x equals x plus some number a, for example. So we can say that f of x equals x plus some number a. This number a is minus alpha. Okay, so we found the value of f. What about g? Remember that we need to find f and g, not just f, so don't forget to find the value of g. But actually, since our problem is symmetrical, you see here we have some symmetry, because f, here we have g, here we have g, here we have f, x, here we have y, y, x and uh, since we've proven that if g is surjective then f is surjective then the problem is completely symmetrical so we can simply say that by applying the same the same on g we can get that g equals x plus b so we can simply say that g of x equals x plus b of course a is different from b so we can actually do the same process but e each time instead of writing x we write y and writing y uh, we can write x we can do the same thing but uh, shortly we don't need to say or do the process again we can simply just say by symmetry we can have that g of x equals x plus b. So this is a nice uh, property of symmetry. And now we just left with checking if f and g work. So let's do this. If we substitute g with x plus b and f with x plus a, we're going to have on the left hand side x plus y plus a plus b. And here on the right hand side we have x plus y plus a plus b. So actually any uh, two functions f of x equals x plus a and g of x equals x plus b work and simply we are done. So let's discuss what we've done in this problem. So first of all, we were given a functional equation that is symmetrical, but the condition g is surjective breaks this symmetry. So we've simply shown that f is surjective and now we have a completely symmetrical functional equation. Then we used the most used uh, subjectivity trick uh, which is to take this alpha that destroys f and we substitute it here with y we substitute y with this alpha and we got this functional equation then we use the second common trick in uh, for in subjectivity which is to create this g of x as any real number z and we got this functional equation and immediately we found the value of f and then we use the symmetry so instead of repeating the same process on g, we simply said by symmetry, we have g of x equals x plus b. 
and we are simply done. So in the next video, we'll be discussing one more problem, which uses some uh, nice tricks, and then we'll be moving into a hard functional equation from the IMO. So if you're excited, like the video, share and subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next video.